So, a bit of history. The Mavic Air 2 was launched in April 2020, which makes it almost 3 years at this point. Since then, plenty of drones have come out and yet I still feel that this is the best beginner drone even in 2023. Now, my history with drones has been from the Tello, the original Mini, the Mini 2, the DJI Air 2S which I used and was very satisfied before I downgraded back to the Mavic Air 2. Now, if you're considering to buy the Air 2 as your first drone or upgrading from something like a Mini or Mini 2, I'm going to tell you why it's worth it. Right now, a good condition used Air 2 fly more combo is going to for around 3,000 ringgit Malaysia or 6,000 US dollars, which places it right around the same price of the Mini 3 non-pro. But what are the advantages? Now, when I look at drones, I look from two angles. Number one is the camera performance, which to be frank, in daylight, both the Mini 3, Mini 2, Air 2S and Air 2 all has very similar low light, very similar. But in terms of low light, I will confirm that the Mini 3 trumps all of the other drones because of the sensor size and the low aperture. The second factor I look at is at the flying platform and the capabilities and this is where the Air 2 excels. The Air 2 feels so much more stable when flying in windy condition compared to any other Mini series, even the Mini 3. I have personally flown the Mini 3 series around beach and bad tropical weather and I can assure you flying the Air 2 is much more easier and safer because the motors and the weight, the motors are much stronger and the weight is much more. Don't believe me? Watch this video comparison. You can see that the Air 2 and the Air 2S you can easily get around 9 to 11 meters per second against heavy wind compared to the Mini 3 which only goes to around 5 to 7 meters per second. Now this is very useful especially if you're like a solo shooter like me, if you need to track something like you're driving or cycling, the active track is extremely useful and quite reliable. Now the sensor also has a proximity indicator so that if you plan to track your drone to tight, tight spaces, this is very good to avoid you clipping on stuff because it tells you when you're about near or far and object obstacles. Now if you're from Malaysia, where you get obviously the CE version, then and then to top it off, you use the DJI RC controller, you know how bad the range is. You can barely get more than 1 km. On the other hand, even with the Orkissing 2.0, on the CE version of the DJI Air 2 is extremely strong. You can easily get 3 km even in areas where it is heavily populated. Now, this might not be a factor that is important to everyone, but for me, um, I do find the build quality is important. The Air 2 then the, and the Air 2S is very robust and very strong. It's made from very hard, sturdy plastic. The Mini on the other hand, the plastic is very thin and weak. I think you can see online regarding this complaint. But we must understand that the Mini is always a compromise because it needs to get under the 250 gram weight limit. Now this is subjective, but what do I mean by looks? Um, if you plan to make money uh, and have clients, the Air and the Pro series, if you bring it to a job, is more professional looking, while the Mini series, let's get real, it looks like a toy. Uh, thus, it doesn't really inspire confidence in your clients. Hey, actually, it doesn't even apply to drones, even camera. It's one of the reasons why people rig up, always rig up their small, mirrorless camera. Now, this factor actually is related to the first point in although on paper the battery life in terms of the Mini 3 and the Air 2 is very similar among them, in strong wind the Mini drones deplete battery very fast compared to the Air 2 and the Air 2S because you need the motor needs to work stronger all the time to fight against the wind. Now so far for the past few minutes I've been singing praises about the Air 2 
but what is the main weakness now the main weakness is the for the air 2 and the mini 2 is actually the smaller sensor size uh, so honestly if you're planning to look to shoot a lot of um, aerial video at night and, and low light just do what i did initially and just get the air 2s or the mini 3 or the mini 3 pro don't even look at the air 2 but my shoot is mainly during daytime uh, maybe you're like me you have nighttime shots but maybe it's only around 20 percent so what i do as you can see in this clip is i shoot at very high iso something like 3200 and then i use the neat video denoiser plugin to remove all of the noise but retaining most of the details so i don't really need the um, bloody sensor for low light because um, i have number one it's not a main uh, situation where i shoot and number two there's a walk, walk through around it so really for the same price um, within the same budget the comparison is really between two drones whether you should get the air 2 or you should get the mini 3 so i choose the air 2 but for most people honestly go with the mini 3 it's newer easier to carry on hikes you can charge using power bank and overall has a better image quality especially in low light but i have been flying a lot and at this point i know my priorities on features that what i really need on a drone and that's why i made my choice on the air 2 basically i need a better flying platform compared to a better camera and on to the question on why I downgraded from the Air 2S uh, back to the Air 2. The answer is actually very simple. There's two reasons. Number one is the price in which I swapped back to the Air 2 from the Air 2. Air 2S, sorry. I swapped and got around $400 USD in cash. Number two is the video quality in which daylight for me both is very similar. Honestly, the grading, lighting condition, drone movement and how you edit your drone footage will play a much bigger role. Uh, to the outcome of the video compared to whether it's a one inch half inch sensor people who think that they buy drones with a bigger sensor and will make wow greater drone footage is honestly fooling themselves for example a good video editor and a drone pilot with a mini 2 will always produce a better video compared to a novice editor and pilot with even a mavic 3 anyway uh, like always thank you for watching this channel and if you find it useful don't forget to help my small channel by leaving a subscribe and leaving a like uh, to support my very small channel and as usual if you guys have any question just leave it in the comment section down below uh, i'll try to answer it and uh, see you guys next time ciao